Hello there, and welcome to another model haul unboxing here on Novice Modelling and the Midlife Crisis. My name's Andy, and I'm going to take you through another whole load of models that I've just bought. Seems to be a bit of a problem I'm having at the moment. So, let's open it up. This one come from a company called Puzzlecraft, who I did another video on. Obviously I like the service and their prices, so I went back and bought some more. I'm going to have to stop buying soon because this is getting ridiculous. Okay, first out of the box we have a IBG Models 135, number 35037, Chevrolet C15A Personnel Lorry. Number 13 cab and number 12 cab version. So I've got two versions I can build here. Um, I believe you can actually have it with or without the tarps on it. Let's just move this box out of the way and we'll see what else we've got. So there we go. There's our first model. Put him over there. And then next up, we've got the long wheel version long wheelbase version IBG models again 135 35042 Chevrolet C60 general service truck and maybe we get a couple of guys with it I'm not exactly sure so there's our second one out the box oh what a surprise we've got another IBG model 135 35015 Bedford QLD general service truck I'm not quite sure why I seem to have more of a thing at the moment for trucks than tanks. Probably because I work in logistics, maybe. Who knows? That's number three. And number four, again, another IBG models. 135-350-014. Bedford QL truck, but this time the tanker version. And also we've got a Polish Spitfire in the background there. Number four. Next up we've got a Mini Art 135-35072. German armoured car crew. This guy's got the uh, tropical pith helmet on, so looks like he's part of the old uh, Africa Corps. This one is a Hobby Boss. This is model number 84410. Again, we've got an Africa Corps. We've got five guys and, oh, we've got a driver. We need drivers for all our trucks and stuff. There's another one. Now you've got to feed the soldiers. So we've gone with Mini Art 135, 35628. Wooden crates with fruit. Um, I'm going to try build, try building these, obviously painting apples and what have you. Painting the wood's going to be interesting, now I have got the paints to do that. And we've got the bakery one as well. Mini Art 135, 35624. Bakery products, so we got the old bagels, loaves of bread, pretzels, I'm not quite sure what they are, twisty bread. Mmm, nice. We've got a ICM model, Zwilling Sockle 36, model number 35714, World War II German anti-craft anti-aircraft machine gun mount. You actually used to stick these in trucks, I believe. I've got a truck with one of these in already, and I thought, well, I might have another one. Anyone that's a bit of a film buff might like this one. This is the 135 Austin K2Y Ambulance for the British, made by Airfix. Uh, immortalised in the film Ice Cold in Alex. It's a pretty good film actually, I watched it a couple of weeks ago. So I thought I'd build this one, hopefully, as per the model Katie and not Pat. Which is, Katie's actually featured in the film.
there's a big box. This is by a company called Bronco. Now I've seen a couple of uh, videos online and their models can be a little bit complicated. Um, this is a German SWS supply ammo vehicle and armoured cargo version. This is basically a German half track. You've got an open flatbed or you've got an armoured version here. Um, I saw this, I kind of thought it looked interesting. And the next model down I actually bought it to go with. But it's going to be a while before I think I actually get onto this because apparently the tracks are a nightmare to fit to, to build. And then we've got another Bronco model. Now, excuse my German. This is a Versux flak wagon for 8.8 centimeter flak 37 alf Sonderfall Gestell Panzer SF11VC in 135 scale. Again, the box is massive on this. Basically, we got a flak 88. I think it's attached to an extended Panzer IV chassis. They didn't make many of these. It was sort of 1944, but I kind of like the look of it. I mean, it's kind of interesting having the Flak 88 just stuck on a, basically what, like I say, I think it's a Panzer IV chassis, but it might be extended. It seems to have too many road wheels on it. Again, I understand the tracks for these Bronco models are an absolutely nightmare to actually do. So it's going to be a while before you see me building this one. And the box is empty. I hope you enjoyed my little film. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, I've got 12 subscribers now. That's pretty cool. And all I'm doing is buying stuff. I'm actually going to start building some models soon. So don't worry, I'm not a one-trick pony. So yeah, be seeing you.